Hello everyone, uh, it's me Andrew and with me is as uh, usual DB0 Hello. and uh, we're uh, casting the game between Arbelikov and Ola Natsar. This is their second match in the Swiss third round the tournament and uh, the first uh, game finished pretty quickly. Arbelikov won uh, with 7-4. Uh, uh, it was an interesting game. We had um, a very early snare and then uh, from that point on, uh, Ilonatsu was just struggling to get that milling going with uh, noise. He did get it a bit, so that's why he got those uh, four points. But unfortunately, uh, that was as much as he could get because uh, Project Ala scored with two counters on it was made short work of the rest of the game. Hmm. Uh, Arbelikov just just got his uh, hostile takeovers and he scored them out of hand, so that that was quite easy. Yeah, I also think. Uh, Early Nazi thinks that uh, the corporation had a perfect draw, but uh, I disagree because uh, he did draw quite a lot of agendas at some point. And, uh, no, I, would, I wouldn't call it a, it, it was a good draw. It, was it wasn't a perfect draw and it wasn't like something extraordinary. Exactly. In the end, uh, and Early Nazi had pretty good luck with rushing that three pointer. Yeah, exactly. I think against a criminal, that draw would have been disastrous because of an inside job and, uh, running in HQ and a sneak door betas. He only had one ice, so he wouldn't be able to defend everything. And if you trade to pull the same trick with that uh, agenda, the runner would have run it. But it was a really good draw against uh, a noise, especially a noise who had just lost his Crypsis. Yeah, that, that, that Crypsis going down was huge. So there we have quite a few agendas. I, I, I remember yeah, two scores first. <laughs> I remember it correctly. I, do, I thought that uh, he was playing uh, Jinteki, but uh, I must really remember with a different player. You remember uh, him playing Jinteki because of the Nero Katana? Mm, no, no, no. There is a Jinteki player, but uh, it's just different. That's a different player. I just don't remember yeah. which one. This is, this is going to be huge. If he manages to score that posted bounty, he can just finish the game. Because yeah. he does have both yeah. scorchers. True, true. So, given the how separate tend to play, I would probably go with that posted bounty behind the Caduceus and uh, try to uh, finish the game before it even starts. But it seems that he's going to play safer. I think it's a mistake. Yeah. I think problem is, yeah. Problem is, you're always afraid of a tinkering. Yes, but uh, because it. Okay, quite a lot of draws. Oh boy. <laughs> What's he looking for? Yeah, I have no idea. He's gonna play the Magnum Opus now. Mm -hmm. uh, he was uh, probably just looking for some extra stuff. Yeah, this is a big, classic big rig deck, so I don't think he'll uh, be running any of those ice soon. Yeah, probably not. Hmm, very nice. Yeah, now, now is a good moment to drop that. Problem is, uh, with uh, some um, uh, Magnum Opus going, uh, he can he can get through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because uh, he does have the Zoo 13 Keymaster, so... Yeah, he's still Let's going to go for the, for the quick one. Problem is, the runner is probably going to face check that ice. And uh, he won't be able to score that uh, <coughs> agenda and uh, make him... Uh, and kill him at the same turn. Okay, we're seeing. Okay, we're seeing lots of cards. I think. But he, he did. I think he was he looking for the tinkering. Yeah, so too. now he got it. Yeah, yeah, me too. But it's not going to help him, probably. Let's see. He'll probably take uh, uh, four credits, ten credit, and then run. Mm -hmm. That's how I usually do it. You do run with your last click, but especially if it's going to get advanced, you're pretty safe. Yeah, but the corporation should probably... Okay. So he's going for it. But he's probably going to lose it. But it's not a big deal. No, no, but it would have been game right there. Yeah. Had him be able to score it, so that, the that other is hand, a big thing. On the other hand, maybe the runner will think it's a bluff. Yeah, we'll have to see. Okay, I don't think he can get through anymore. Unless he just runs. Yeah, no, I he, think that, that agenda is getting scored. I think he just lost. Yeah, he just lost the game of this. 
I don't know what he's looking for. Unless he drew a plus crystal. No, no. Uh, there's no point, he doesn't have time to install anymore, so it's, uh, it's game no, over. If he had drawn just a plus crate right now, he would be able to install it, but uh, he didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if, if it, uh, yeah, the last roll would have been a blast, plus it would have been enough. Okay, I don't it. know what he's looking for, but he's really looking for it. Yeah, and this time it really beat him in the ass. Ouch. That was a very fast game. Talk about perfect draws on both sides. Both of them were quite fast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, such nastiness. It is coming yeah, down. Yeah, no, no, this is payback. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's not complaining anymore about the card draw now. No, I think... Uh... I think it was also a mistake of the runner not to run any, any anything on the table. That's what you get. Yeah, definitely. Get it was a bit. It was. It was overly protective, overly conservative, and yeah. You know you're playing against Whalen, so. Ouch. Yep. Not a fun way to go. Yeah, and the next one, and we're over. I don't remember if you let yeah, us those <laughs> games. <laughs> yeah, brutal game, quick, quick and painful. Yeah, when you have the combo first turn, uh, Big Greek deck has a problem. Yeah, it also depends on uh, whether you can actually protect it properly. Mm. But he could. I mean, even uh, even though that Zoo 13 can go through the um, toll booth, it's it's expensive. And a lot of people will say, okay, let him score that agenda. It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll get some later. If you're going for the Big Rig, you need to not lose momentum. Mm. But sometimes it's really dangerous. I don't know. Uh, I, th I think I would have run that if I was him. It, it, again, it's easier because I saw the cards, but I actually think I would have run that. Yeah. He probably just didn't want to lose momentum, as you said. Yeah, he, he, he said that he was looking for all the breakers. Ah. If, you, if you're going to do that against NBN, like Waylon might work, might not work. If you do that against NBN, it's never going to work. You can be, they can score five agenda points, but by the time you have all your breakers, and then it's just easy. If they if they get the yeah the, the, the stuff, that's why you you need to use the tinkerings and stuff. He had the tinkering. I'm surprised he didn't use it. Yeah, he had the tinkering, and I thought I thought that's what he was looking for. I thought he was going to tinker it and go through. It was a useless tinkering, but I mean I understand why he he would do it. He wanted to make sure. But uh, yeah. 